Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video um, what I wanted to do is just sit down with you guys and talk a little bit about starting a small business, starting a business in general, some things that you might not know if you're thinking about starting a new business. Um, I am not an expert by no means whatever but I'm currently trying to start my own small business and there are a lot of things that go into it, go into it that you don't realise until you have to do it. Um, and I thought I would just sit down and make a video just in case anybody's interested in wanting to start a new business and you know would like to know some tips because before I started to do this I was researching, like Googling, YouTubing videos on like, you know, what the F do I do? Because like, where do you start? I want to just help you guys along a little bit. Uh, don't mind my nails here. I gelled them the other week with a little machine thing, uh, ultraviolet machine that my sister got me and I've already peeled the little one off because it was coming off and I'm trying so hard not to peel the rest off. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I wanted to give some tips or whatever, blah, 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 I've already said this, about starting a business. Anyway, so I am currently trying to start my own business. I am by no means near, <laughs> like, launching. I have, I'm in the process of currently waiting for samples to be sent to me so I can see what they look like. Let's start from the beginning. I don't really know if I should, I don't really want to tell you much about it in case it fails. Um, but even if it does fail, like these little tips and stuff that I've picked up along the way will still help anybody who's looking to start a business. But the first thing that you need to do is start off with an idea, obviously. What is it you want to sell? Is it something you want to make? Is it something you want to like source and sell, like from wholesalers? Is it something you want to create from scratch um, and have someone else make it? There are so many ways that you can go about doing this. So obviously if you yourself are making these things, like if it's artwork, if it's prints, if it's candles, um, if it's, you know, uh, resin, whatever, and you can do this yourself, it's so much more easier I'm not saying it's easy, but it's a lot easier than kind of the other routes that you can go down because you're making it, you're in control. You can, you know, if something goes wrong or if you're not happy with something, you can sort it out right there and then. You don't have to pay anybody else. Obviously, just the materials that you need it is a lot simpler. But the way that I am doing it is I am trying to create something from scratch. I need somebody else to make it, which is a lot more complicated. So the first thing you need is your idea. Now, if you're going down a wholesale route, um, so you want to sell clothes, but you don't want to design clothes, you just want to sell them. For example, I have a friend who sells baby clothes. She doesn't design them, she doesn't make them. She simply, you know, has an account with a warehouse decides what she wants, how many she wants, what sizes, and they get delivered to her and she sells them. So she's selling somebody else's stock, products, whatever. She does that. Now, going down the route where you want something done from scratch, for example, a clothing item, like a t-shirt, um, and you want someone else to make it, a manufacturer to make it, whether it's in your country, whether it's overseas, you need to start off with the idea. What I did at this point when I had my idea was, you know, YouTubing, how do I make it? How do I get someone else to make it? How do I transfer my idea to somebody else so that they know what I want? Basically, you need to start off with a tech pack. And I was like, what is a tech pack? But anything that you want to make, whether it's a t-shirt, uh, a jacket, um, uh, a duvet cover, a hat, it needs to be in a tech pack. So when you send that off to somebody, a manufacturer, they know exactly what you want, what measurements you want, what accessories you want on it, what design you want on it. And I was like, okay, how do I make a tech pack? I am not skilled in that area. I don't have the software to make it. When I was Googling, it was like, you need like Illustrator to make it or like, 
what else was there? I don't know, there's like loads of different softwares that you can use to create a tech pack and obviously they might cost money that you don't have but my main thing with that was like, God, I don't know where to start with this tech pack. I'm not a designer, like I don't have a clue. So I was YouTubing and whatever and people do do their own tech packs if they are able to, but I thought, well, one thing that I thought I was gonna do was, okay, I'll just, you know, open up a paint document on my iPad, draw what I want, write some notes and somehow, send it to a manufacturer. No, it was just not happening. The drawings were amateur. I'm not saying they have to be great, you don't have to be fantastic, but it's so, it's so much better if it's done digitally. And like I said, I don't know how to do that. So it really just looked like a child's uh, school project. And it was just not, it was just not the one, honestly, it was ridiculous. My next thought was I'm gonna have to pay someone to do this for me because I really don't have a clue. So I researched like, how do I get someone to make it for me? And uh, this website came up called People Per Hour, which I've heard of before. Basically a lot of freelancers that go on it to advertise their skills um, and people come across you and say, oh, you can do this. Can you do my project for me and I'll pay you what you charge? Um, so that's what I did. I went on it, had a look at different people's sort of portfolios. Came across this one girl from England that looked really good, checked out her website, checked out the testimonials on her site. Uh, she was called Rose, she was fantastic. So I gave her a message. I also wanted a logo creating for my brand, whatever, because I didn't have anything set up yet. Like I didn't want to sell it just on my personal page. I wanted to have like a brand. So I needed a logo creating for that too. So I needed the logo and the tech pack Anyway, I found Rose, um, messaged her what I wanted. She just asked me simply for, you know, can you give me a rough illustration of what you want the logo to be? It doesn't have to be perfect, just so she knows. And also like just a bit of info on the product. Did that, um, me and Rose went back and forth for probably about three, three to four days. Um, bearing in mind like she, it wasn't like all throughout the day, it was usually on an evening because um, she had work, like other work to do. So it wasn't like a full four days. It was, honestly, if you add it together, it's probably just like a couple of like, two hours, three hours, something like that. She was sending me ideas. I was giving her some like notes to say like what she could tweak. And that was it, three to four days done, really cheap. Well, it depends what your class is cheap. I thought this was cheap. She charged 25 pound for the logo and 35 pound for the tech pack, which I, was expecting a lot more to be honest so I was happy to pay that. Uh, the website People Per Hour makes it sound like I'm sponsored by them. I'm not, I promise. <laughs> um, the website People Per Hour made it really easy. They give you an invoice at the end to say what's been paid um, which you can download and that was kind of it. I left Rose a review, she left me a review and I would more than happily, happily work with Rose again in the future if I am able to and if things go well. Anyway, that's sort of the tech pack thing issue done. Tech check, check, uh, tech pack was fantastic. I mean, I don't really know, like apart from researching what is a tech pack, I've never had one before. So like in my opinion, it was good um, and it had everything that I needed. So then the next thing is finding someone who is willing to make your product. I wanted to, like I'm on a tight budget, like tight budget. So I first of all wanted to find someone overseas, obviously it's cheaper, to see if I can have that made. I started off with, my first idea was I want someone in Vietnam to make the product because I've been to Vietnam, I've seen the clothes, like I love Vietnam, Um, like they're very very skilled and they're very high in manufacturing like they're literally like on a list of you know the top places and people to make things like this so i wanted someone in vietnam to do it i found a vietnamese yellow pages messaged loads of companies and stuff have still not heard back from any of those so whether that yellow pages is like out of date i don't know because i've heard 
zilch from them which is really disappointing because it was my first choice I really wanted them to I really wanted my products to be from Vietnam um, I love the people I love the place really wanted it to happen but it didn't next I did a lot more research and the research to find a manufacturer took a long time like different websites have different things like if you're just wanting to buy stock from wholesalers it's a lot easier like I said things like alibaba.com is pretty easy to do stuff like that with a lot of um, a lot of internet pages that I was googling like how do I find a manufacturer told me to go on alibaba.com but honestly I found it useless for me I don't know maybe I'm not wasn't using it right but yeah it was just not for people that wanted products making it was more people who wanted to buy bulk in something that was already made. Like I said, I might have been using it wrong, but that's just my experience. Anyway, I found a website called uh, Made in China. So I went on this and this was amazing. You literally type in uh, products or suppliers. So I went on suppliers. You type in like something that you want, like the type of factory that you want. So like um, garments or baseball caps or things like that like technology and um, so just type in what you want and like pages and pages and pages of different factories come up that you can contact so it has the page it has the website's information it shows you what the factory is about it has pictures of the factory which is really important for like obviously ethical reasons they have their certificates on there information of different shipping methods how you can pay um, what else do they have? They have uh, photos of the products that they have made in the past so you can kind of see some of their work. But don't be fooled because a company might say, we specialise in, I don't know, we specialise in making baseball caps. But if you give them a message and send them your tech pack, they will say, yeah, actually we can do this for you. Like they're very skilled in many, many areas, honestly. So if you go on this website, try not to pay attention to you know what we specialize in because they do all sorts unless it is like uh, medical supplies which there's a lot of or um what else was on there like fat loss supplements and things i kind of thought well if that's what they actually do then maybe what i want they're not going to be able to do um so anyway i just sent like message after message after message wrote down each factory that i'd contacted um who like was the sales manager which comes from a little picture on the side and yeah it was just sending them messages and in this initial message you can't attach files but I just told them that you know if you're able to do this then um I have a tech back available also you want to ask them um can you send me a quote can you send me the cost of a sample can you send me the minimum order quantity MOQ um, which is how many that like the lowest number that they're willing to make for you so for me I'm very a very small company so I really just want 50 of each color which is 150 in total but some of these companies want like 500 5,000 and um, so it is just a process of elimination really Um also you want to know like um kind of like the shipping and production timeline, time scale, how long it's gonna take. Um, roughly, just so you know, in terms of goals for your business and yourself, like like milestones, how long is each thing gonna take? When can I start advertising? When will I be able to take pictures of my products? Things like that. I got a lot of messages back saying, yes, we are able to do this after I'd sent the tech pack, because on the next message that you send them, you can attach files. So they might say something like, um, can you send us your tech pack and we'll you know, check and see if we can do it for you, just a quick message like that. I'll send it back with the tech pack and asking for all the information like quotes, sample price, what I've just said. And then it kind of goes into a bit of back and forth with the company. Each company is kind of different. Like some may say, yes, we can do this for you, but we don't have those colors. Can you choose colors from the stock that we already have? Um, and on this case, it does tend to lower the price a little bit um, because they're not sourcing other colours. Some might say, yes, we can do this, but our minimum order quantity is like 500, which I have said, you know, it's too much for me. 
um but they'll give me a price and if the price works out you know okay like how do i put this for example you might get a, a quote back that says okay for 100 um of one color it's gonna cost like i don't know two three dollars per piece but another company might say to you for 500 of one color it's gonna cost you like 80 cents and they they do it all in dollars um so i just was kind of like google googling like exchange rate from dollars to great british pounds um and if the 80 cents comes up as like worthwhile and like for me having 1500 products is a freaking nightmare because i feel like oh god if they don't sell and if i fail i'm just gonna be stuck with all this stuff also i'm borrowing money off my boyfriend for this and then i'm like crap if they don't sell how am i supposed to pay him back so you know your girl has got things going on in her head along these lines but that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about tips for you um yeah so that's kind of how it goes um and there might be some sort of negotiating like someone might say okay we can do it for you but if you want a low amount of like 50 can you do can you take the stock that we already have of this product we'll put your logo on we'll do it in the color that you want it's in our stock we'll put your logo on it so that might be an option like one of my samples that i've got coming is someone's stock that they already have with my logo on it um and really that's not what i want i want my own thing made from scratch you know that i have kind of designed but if this is going to be the best option for me to start with then maybe that is the route that i have to go down i'm doing a lot of things with my hand i really apologize so the back and forth you do that and then if you get to a certain point where you're happy with this person um you're like okay yeah i see i see us building a relationship you want to request a sample you want to ask how much is the sample now samples tend to be a lot of money depending what product you want like one sample is much 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 more than what you would buy in bulk because they're making this you know they're going on a limb they're making this from scratch whatever blah blah so sample prices like for me have ranged between like 75 dollars well 25 dollars like one color but i'm ordering three so from one supplier i've bought one sample of three colors so that's 75 dollars um another person i've ordered a sample one sample for a hundred dollars which is like 75 pound like yeah 75 british pound um, and another person is like 120 dollars uh but that includes shipping you want to ask the shipping price as well because sometimes it's included sometimes it's not um like i said the 121 includes shipping the 101 includes shipping but if i buy bulk then i get that refunded another one is this the 75 dollars one does not include shipping and shipping can be like 25 dollars to 35 dollars depending obviously where it's getting shipped to i'm getting the ship to me in scotland um i think that's best but you want to ask about shipping prices you want to try and haggle with the sample costs like if you say to them oh someone else has offered me so and so dollars um is there any chance that you can do that because they're always trying to like better the competition like i've had so many people say to me like oh let us know if we can do any better um like what else have you been offered so just tell them like if they say no they say no but you've got more of a chance of getting that price reduced really um if you kind of just say to them like oh would you mind so and so price like don't take the piss <laughs> like haggling is one of the things that makes me very uncomfortable like in person when me and martin go on holiday martin is like the haggle king he will haggle a cheeseburger from mcdonald's honestly it makes me cringe and i'm just like martin just just take the offer like let's go he will try and get it down to a price that's like ridiculous and it makes me really embarrassed but in this situation it's a lot easier because it's via like email or whatsapp and it's something that you should do like you don't want to and also don't tell them like i'm just starting out because more than likely like i'm not going to say they will but some may take the piss they may be like oh okay she's just starting out i'll start with a high with a high cost and i'm not saying everyone's going to be like that um i've actually had no problems but i haven't mentioned like i'm just starting 
So that's that. Samples. Yeah, like I said, you obviously want more than one sample because you don't want to like put all your eggs in one basket. You don't want to get this one sample from your supplier and be like, ah, oh, like it's shit. Of course, you can tell them once you get the sample, like if there's things you want changing, like if you're happy with the sample, but you think, yeah, like some things could be tweaked a little bit. Like you can do that. You can go back and forth and say, I received the sample. It's great. However, can we do this? I'm not up to that point yet because I've not yet received my samples. I've only paid for like two. I'm still waiting to pay on another one. But that's kind of it. Like I said, I'm by no means an expert in this thing. I've not got like a massive clothing brand that's done really, really well. I am just someone trying to start something, fingers crossed, and just want to share what I've learned along the way because honestly, I have been sat at my computer like, just been like, oh, can I just find somebody already who's gonna do this for something that I want? It's difficult. There's a lot of, lot to think about, like, obviously when you get your product, like how you're gonna package it, like you, I don't know, like oh, also social media. Okay, I think that's everything so far that I have learned along the way I want to share with you. And obviously when I, if things progress, hopefully, touch wood, um, I will share more things because obviously there's so much that goes into a business and even businesses that have launched now, they're still learning. For example, uh, I watch Brittany Lee Saunders who is an American uh, influencer but she also has her own like three bloody businesses um, and she posts like videos and uh, pictures all the time saying like how much she's learned along the way and she's doing like really really well. So yeah, let's let's Pray that there is hope for me too. <laughs> okay, well, that is everything and I'm gonna stop talking and I hope this helped somebody out there who maybe wants to start their own business. I just look for inspiration from other small business owners. Another one that I like to follow is Odd Muse, um, the girl that created her own bloody gorgeous blazer that is now featured in like Vogue or something and she only launched like six months ago. Like. These people are just like inspiring to me and make me think, you know, if they can do it, then I can do it kind of thing, hopefully. Okay. And if you're a small business and you have any tips or if you're doing this journey, like let me know how that's going for you and you know, what things you've learned. Okay. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, day, evening, wherever you are. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.